Uh, this video is about World of Tanks. What is RNG? First of all, RNG stands for Random Number Generator. In regards to World of Tanks, RNG is a range which is plus 25% or minus 25%. And what happens is when you fire ammunition, it has a certain penetration value. When you do damage, it has a certain hit point value. These values are affected by RNG. It either increases the value by 25% or decreases the value by 25%. For example, if your gun has a penetration of 100 in the game, that's the average penetration is 100. So you might do as high as 125 and as low as 75. Your penetration will fall within that range and it will be different every time you fire. The same will be for the armor. If you don't have it, then your penetration is always 100 if there's no RNG. Every shot. If you do have it, that means sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. So let's say the enemy armor is 100 and your penetration is 99. If you don't have RNG, you would never penetrate it because you would always be firing 99 at 100. If you do have RNG, you would penetrate it 50% of the time because your 99 gets an additional 25% or minus 25%. 50% of the time, you're going to be at 100 or greater, which means you will penetrate it. And 50% of the time, you'll be 99 or lower, which means you won't penetrate it. The same is true with hit points. It will say average hit points is 200, but sometimes you do 10, 210, sometimes you do 160. And the reason why is 200 is average. With no RNG, you always do 200 hit points of damage. With RNG, you add 25% or subtract 25%. So you might do 250 damage or you might do 150 damage. And it adds variation to the game. If you don't have RNG and the enemy vehicle has... 400 hit points, and you do 200 of damage, you have to hit it twice, and it will total up to 400. If you have RNG, you might do 199 on one shot, 199 on the second shot, and the enemy vehicle will have two hit points left. You understand? So the RNG adds variability, which means if you don't have RNG, you just total up your damage and total up their hit points. And once you get that number, the enemy is killed. But with RNG, there's variability. So it might take five shots. It might take six shots. It might get lucky and it might take seven shots. There's variability with the numbers. So if you go into your vehicle in the garage, you'll notice it says damage and it says average penetration and it has a range of numbers. Over here it says minimum maximum damage. That's the RNG range. That means that this gun, although the average is 490, which means over thousands of games, you're gonna do 490 damage per shot. But per shot, it's gonna be as low as 367 and as high as 613. Will never be lower than 367, will never be higher than 613. So if a vehicle has 613 hit points, you might get lucky and get them in one shot, or it might take you two shots, 367 times two. You understand? Same is true for penetration. There's a range. If you have, if his penetration, if his ammo is 280, and your range is 173 to 289, doesn't mean you can't penetrate them. You keep on trying, and you might get a couple lucky shots in and penetrate it. Your chances will be low. If his uh, penetration, if his armor is really low, like closer to 173, then you're more likely to penetrate. But if, his, if your penetration is 231, and his armor is 231, you're going to penetrate half the time. You understand? Because half the time you're going to be under the 231 penetration and half the time you're going to be over the 231 penetration. So the 231 
penetrates 231 millimeters of armor half the time. The RNG allows you to, to get those lucky shots in by being higher or lower. Okay, RNG is good for the game. Every video game uses RNG. It's standard to randomize the game. Uh, I read that the RNG values are pre-calculated. The reason why is because RNG formulas, they're math formulas. It's like 3 plus 5 plus 9 divided by 7 times 21 divided by pi. They're just formulas. And every time you call the formula, you get the same sequence of numbers. For example, you know what pi is. It's 3.141596.72 or something like that. It's always the same sequence of numbers. If you think of pi as an RNG formula, the same happens with the RNG formulas. Because they, they don't always do the same formulas, but if you use the basic setting, the formula alone, with without changing the formula in any way, you will always get the same sequence of numbers. So pre-calculating them is good because it will do it faster, and you're going to get the same sequence of numbers anyway, even if you use a seed. Unless you change the seed, there's something called the seed value, which is actually changing the formula. Unless you change the formula every time you fire the gun, you're going to get the same numbers anyway. So they pre-calculate all the values. But the good thing about it is they can assign it to different players. Like they can assign the first shot to one player and the second shot to another player, etc. RNG is good for video games. If you don't do RNG, it always does the same value, 490. It always does the same penetration, 231. And if you people say take away RNG, it's wrong. Imagine if you have 231 penetration and the enemy has 232 armor. And you're going to sit there, and you can't damage You would never damage it without RNG. And you're going to complain and say, how come I got 231 penetration, he's got 232 armor, it's not fair. That's why they added in the RNG. RNG is good for the game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.